It's always good to have you here, man. How was your stream? How are the Tarky Warky raids going? It's called we play a little bit of Tarky Warky. It's called we do a little bit of playing Tarky Warky. We need to grab a couple more, what do you call, a couple more shelves, though I'm not even sure where they would go. Is there anywhere we can expand this, or I'm guessing, yeah, we're going to have to start boarding up those windows, because I kind of want to have access to those rooms. There's a lot of space we're just not utilizing in this building. Uh, crafting stuff is going to go on this shelf, dish towels, nails, belts, stuff like that, you know tape, hinges, doorknobs, duct tape. Uh, electricity, electric stuff can go on a different shelf. I'm not sure which shelf, but it's definitely going on a different shelf. You can actually toss some cardboard boxes down here too. Though I'm, I'm not super pressed to do that now because really it's just, I hate cardboard boxes, chat. I really don't like them. They're not epic. They make the room look messy and it's just, they're, they don't hold that much. They're just, they're just a pain. In my side, chat. A thorn in my side, if you will. If you will indulge me, chat. Alright. Decent stuff. Propane tank can go upstairs with the grill that we've got. Cigarettes. Cigarettes can go with the farming supplies. So, farming supplies. I don't think we have enough to have, like, a dedicated farming area. But farming supplies can go there for now. Lighter and matches. Start moving everything that we're going to be putting away into the messenger bag. Peanut oil, propane tank. Probably not the propane tank. I don't think we can fit that in the messenger bag. It's too heavy. Combined with everything else we have, I mean. Scrap electronics. Excellent stuff, man. Excellent stuff. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off. That's such a good movie, dude. It's been so long since I've seen Dodgeball. It's been at least two years. I gotta rewatch it. It's so funny. I love it. I saw it for the first time when I was like, maybe... I was too young to appreciate it when I first saw it. I don't know. It was like, when I first saw Dodgeball, I was like, well, this isn't funny. I didn't think, I don't think this is funny at all. But now I'm, a, I'm an adult, you know? I have a sophisticated comedic palate, so uh, they're making fart jokes, and I was just like, oh, that's funny. I like the fart jokes. They make me smile. Maybe decide to play this again. You know, I just felt like playing a game that was going to hurt me. I was like, well, Warhammer was fun. How can I worsen my situation? Something that's going to absolutely decimate my mental health. I'm going to get so invested in this game, and it's just going to end up hurting me. I was like, oh, Project Zomboid still exists. And I was like, yeah, all right then. Tally ho, if you will. Oh, let's go ahead and place this over here. But uh, one thing I did, inst I installed a mod called They Knew. Which, uh, I've, went, I've gone over this before, but essentially adds a cure to the game. So you have like a 500 and a million chance to stumble across a zombie that uh, has a cure to the zombie plague, which is kind of nice. And we've already found one, so, and we used it when we were about to turn, so that's, that's pretty cool, I think. Big fan of that, big fan of that. Alright, what other crafting supplies do we have? Oh, see? So, yeah. It makes the game a lot less... I mean, it still hurts when you lose or when you die. But, uh, it hurts less knowing, oh, wait, I can actually do something about this instead of just being like, mm -hmm. boo-hoo, we're gonna die, and, uh, boo-hoo, you know? Next is the runner mod? What do you mean? You mean sprinters? No. Yeah, I'm not doing sprinters. I've done them once. It was a very humbling experience. And I've been humbled on stream before, chat, but that was, like, like with a quickness. Like, day one, I literally just walked out of my house, and a whole horde of zombies just started Usain Bolton directly towards me. I said, mm, no, I don't think so, and I shut my door and closed my blinds, and I was like, no one's home. And then they, you know, broke down the door, figured out I was indeed home, and then they were upset that I had lied to them. And then they proceeded to uh, consume my flesh. It was not a pleasant experience, chat, and it lasted for about 
like I said, we we were maybe three hours, three hours into the day, like three in-game hours, which is nuts. We're going in the wrong way, man. I'm talking about my failures, and I'm just getting sidetracked. It's been known to happen on occasion. It's called buzz. Uh, buzz fails a little bit sometimes. Not often, but sometimes. Extra radio, hand torch, electric stuff can go on this shelf right here. Scrap electronics. Hmm. Crafting materials. Do, 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 do. I think uh, like planks and stuff can go there on this shelf. Or better yet, I think what we'll do is we'll just uh, time together with rope and stack them. You have to be pure stealth. It's actually not a mod. It's a setting in the base game that you can turn on if you choose to. I choose not to because, again, I'm, not, I'm good at the game. I like to think I put enough hours into this game to technically be considered good. Thing is, I'm not that good. I'm, I'm man enough to admit when I'm not that good at something, chat. It's okay to be not good at something because there's always the possibility for improvement. Except when it comes to Project Zomboid Sprinters. Project Zomboid Sprinters are not epic, chat. They're going to make you cry. They're going to make you laugh. They're going to move you, Bob. The way you move and me, the way you turn me on. But, uh, yeah, pure stealth. The stealth in this game, from what I've seen, is kind of like, it's not bad. It's just not great. So it's, it's kind of difficult to be good at something that's not necessarily inherently good. Like, you can be the best at something that's really terrible. And still not, like, do well because the... Ge I, I guess what I'm trying to say is you can play it... You can play your cards perfectly, but at the end of the day, if the game screws you over because, uh-oh, you weren't stealthy enough even though you're maxed out stealth, that's the game's fault, not yours. And that's something that tends to happen in this game a lot. I thought I heard someone uh, breaking down something. Let's actually... Go ahead and just clear this thing out. I'm trying to I'm trying to clear up this whole area. Like at some point we're gonna move this uh we're gonna move the what do you call upstairs, the couch we got right here. Disassemble the counter. Disassemble this counter. We got a flashlight in here? Hell yeah, dude. Break that down. And break this down. I think we need a propane torch to be able to break down chairs. If I'm not mistaken, I don't think I am. And tell you what, we're probably gonna move this shelf inside. I feel like most of the zombies, if anything, after we board up the windows, we can move these over to uh, protect those two windows. Or we could just board up the windows. Either way, man, I mean, we'll be all right. All right, food, electricity. Hmm. Scrap electronics. There we go. Bleach. Eh, cleaning liquid, I kind of think. No, cleaning liquid, can, blah, cleaning liquid can go down here. Soap can go upstairs because, believe it or not, chat, just because it's the apocalypse doesn't mean you can neglect your hygiene. Apocalypse or not, nobody wants to hang out with someone that stinks. They're going to kick you out the club, be like, yo, so we talked about it, and you've been ejected from the island. You smell like, like wide open ass, bro. We cannot deal with that. Like, the zombies are one thing. The mental trauma of having to fight and die every day is one thing, but uh, you smelling like cheeks, we just can't abide that, so you're off. Uh, snuff out your torch and get escorted off the island. I watched a lot of Survivor earlier this year, man. I kind of fell off, but I think I was really sucked into like that one season of Survivor. I don't remember what his name was, but there was this like one science, like computer engineer, computer computer professor or something. He was really smart, but he was also like really quirky. And he's, he seemed like a decent dude. So I, I watched, I was like, wow, I genuinely like this guy. But literally everybody turned on him around the end because he was a smart guy, right? And everybody liked him. So ev like it was, it was an unspoken agreement for most people in that one season. I forget which season, but essentially everybody kind of looked at each other and they were like, yeah, we got to get this dude off the island because... Literally everybody likes him. And if we don't get him off the island soon, then eventually uh, he's going to win. And they were probably right because he, he I would have voted for him. I'd have been like, yo, bro, listen, I like you. You're a decent dude. Go ahead and take this trophy. I don't think they give you a trophy chat. They have idols. They have idols and shit. 
Immunity Idols. God, I miss that show. I might have to restart it. To be honest, I've been kind of busy recently, though. I gotta be, I gotta be on my grind. You already know. Gotta stay on my grind. Got no time to relax. Antidepressants go there. Uh, let's go ahead and start moving again. Everything over to. We should really be moving things over to the duffel bag. There's more room in the duffel bag. Go and do that. Move this stuff over. Duffel. And that's all we really need to move over to the duffel. Good shit. So what do you have? Anything else that needs to go in here? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, we got some scissors. I don't think we need three pairs of scissors. That feels that feels almost excessive. Almost braggadocious, chat. It's like, I got three pairs of scissors. What do you got? Nothing. Ha ha. It's a zombie apocalypse, and I have three more scissors than you do. Who's the winner now? That's a good way to get yourself spilt, chat. Never insult the man in his uh, scissor collection, I guess. That's a great way to put a target on your forehead. What's up, Coaster? How you doing, man? Welcome on back to stream. Good to see you. Glad to have you. Hope you're having a fin flap fantastic day. Hope you continue to have a good day. Good shit. All right. Got a lot of pens, a lot of pencils. What even is this? Do we... I think this was like extra books that we have. Because Fishing 2 is there. We have Fishing 2 on this shelf, and that's Trapping 1. Yeah, okay, so... I'm just gonna, just gonna dump those outside because we have all of those. And this will be, I guess, the pen and I'll tell, eh. tell you what we'll do. This will be the magazine and uh, book section. And this little shelf down there will be for maps and pens and pencils. Doo doo. Let me actually get that eraser back. I kind of need that. <laughs> yeah, Buzzbot is there. I don't think I. I don't think he likes you, Wolf. I'm gonna be honest. Like I know you've always had like that, like an inkling of suspicion. He's like the coaster, Buzz. I don't think Buzzbot likes me. I'm like, bro, it's all in your head. Buzzbot likes ever. I'm. I think I might be seeing it now. I think I'm starting to. My eyes are opening. The scales are falling from him. There it is. Yeah, go ahead and give him what for, Buzzbot. I mean, Wolf. Deadly Wolf Howl. Yeah, I'm definitely rooting for you, Deadly. Absolutely. That's my boy. Go easy on him, Buzzbot. He's just a boy. Wow. I, man, Buzzbot is like my son. I created him. Like, the very first time I had him in chat, I was like, this is what it feels like to be a father. It was like holding a newborn child in my arms. My newborn child. I was like, wow, this is crazy. I feel so proud. When in reality, a baby takes like nine months of work and BuzzBot took maybe like an hour. But that just means I'm a go-getter, chat. I don't waste time. I get right to business. That's just who I am. I'm a bag chaser. A money maker. You already fucking know. Imagine, bro, they have to pull up four executives to tell you you're getting fired. That's crazy. I've seen it happen, too. Chick-fil-A was ruthless, dude. They were kicking niggas out left and right, being like, yeah, we didn't like the fact that you clocked in two minutes early, so your time has come. I'm sorry about this, man. I'm like, oh, shit, well. And a bot creator. I mean, I mean, it's called we do a little bit of, it's called we do a little bit of everything. It's called Buzzy Wuzzies, the goaded, the, 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 the goat. There we go. Hey, we got there eventually, Chad. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter how many stutters it took to make it happen. It just matters that we made it happen. Exceptional. Can I just... I'm just going to... Uh, grab... Yeah, let's just go ahead and grab all of these. Uh, toss them in here, because we're going to just throw them outside. We really need to get some storage for all our food, because, like I said, man, those cardboard boxes, just they're not doing it. They are not doing it. 
pissed on low key. I was kind of high key, if I'm being honest. Like, no offense to Wolf, but like, Buzzbot does have hands. I modeled him after my. He's he's made in my image, chat. So essentially, if Buzzbot is built different, then that 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 just goes to show that I'm built different, you know. I hear footsteps. Come on. I'm not paranoid, chat. I am. I'm a survivor. I ain't gonna give up. Delete all. There you go. Delete all. There you go. Bitch bot 9000. That would actually. I'm gonna be honest. That would get flagged immediately by Twitch. They'd be like, hey man, you can't call yourself that. They're like, well, technically it's my bot. They're like, mm, well, technically you're banned. And then I'd be gone. You'd never hear from me again. I'd be too busy sulking. Hm. I'm not streaming on Twitch. Ever again. Hm. All right, let's go ahead and... We have some wood, right? Yeah, we have plenty of planks, uh, or uh, plenty of nails, so... Shouldn't be an issue to uh, start boarding up the windows, though that'll probably be a tomorrow thing, because right now, yeah, we're kind of... We're not doing so great. We're not doing terrible, but we've been better. Where am I putting office supplies? I think I had a... Did I have somewhere for that? Yes, that's going to be this shelf over here. I was racking my brain for a second. I was like, I know I had them somewhere. There we go. And the notice flyers and shit can go there as well. It doesn't really matter. Paperclip can go there. Multicolor pen in the eraser. We're keeping that because in this universe, you can actually erase pens, uh, pen marks, which is pretty epic. Um, cardboard boxes. Not sure where these are going to go. Well, I mean, uh, tell you what. Let's go ahead and do this. Grab propane tank. Uh-huh. <laughs> and what we're going to do is move these cardboard boxes into the main inventory, and then we're going to place them down here. There we go again. I don't like it. I don't like it. But it dee what it dee chat it dee what it dee Uh, that's the vitamins and stuff. All of this can go into that inventory, and we are going to be good to go. Good shit. Hmm. Excellent stuff, man. Excellent stuff. And you can actually go on the bottom. There we go. Good stuff. And then empty bowl. I think we have a container for, yep, empty bowls and shit go right in there. We have a roasting pan, don't we? I'm pretty sure we do. Yep, here we go. Let's go ahead and roast some of this seafood, because, uh, like I said, we got a lot of a lot of stuff that's about to go off, and I, I don't want it going to waste. Oysters, there we go. Let's actually just grab all of literally everything. Uh, yogurt fresh, salmon, shrimp, pork chops. This is going to be a really meaty, yeah. Bowl of guac's about to go off. GG's. Uh, let's go and dip a nacho in the bowl. I'm pretty sure that's... Apparently, that's not it for the guac. Good shit. There we go. Eat that. Uh, cabbage. Yeah, we'll toss a cabbage in there, too, just to kind of kind of flesh it out a little bit. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's everything. Yep, good stuff. We can go ahead and sit down and do this, too. That's fine. Then I think we'll make a soup with whatever's left. That is a solid roast. Good shit, man. Good shit. And then where is the bowl? Or the pot, rather. Here we go. How many bowls do we have? We have three. We need one. Do we have one more? I feel like I feel like we have one more bowl just laying around somewhere. Because you can make four bowls of soup, and that's a whole pot. So I, I kind of want to be able to make four bowls of soup, put them away, and then make another bowl of soup immediately after, you know? Though, usually that's when I don't have any much, or uh, I don't have multiple cooking pots. This time I do. Meh. I don't know. I still like to have four bowls. It's just nice. Let's go and sit down. 
cooking pot with water create soup we can actually add some pasta to this that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world pork soup do we need to cook the pasta first or is that something we can just toss in now i don't know pasta nope we can toss that in right now good shit though i don't i want to go kind of easy on the pasta because that's gonna that's gonna help us gain weight really quickly which is not something i want to do at the moment I think right now the goal is to lose weight. So let's go ahead and just add random shit. Good stuff, good stuff. Random fish. Random veggie. It's probably going to take a hit to yell unhappiness because we have a lot of cabbage in there. A lot of cabbage. I think if, it's you, add, if you add three or more of a single type of food then you start to take a hit to your uh, unhappiness because it's like oh man i'm so sick of cabbage but i don't know man i'd be pretty happy to have some decent cabbage soup like during the apocalypse that would be quite nice in my opinion but i'm speaking from now i don't know how i'd feel about cabbage soup in the moment we'd have to see hopefully we never have to see chat I'd, I'd rather not have to live through a zombie apocalypse i think we as a nation as a world have been through enough uh pandemics and shit you know no more no more while we're at it, Netflix and all other streaming services slash podcast slash TV channels, I guess, need to stop making pandemic-themed uh, shows. It's it's terrible. I got a I got an ad on Spotify. They were like, a pandemic-themed podcast where six criminals or uh, inmates get out of prison. They live together and they hunt down do good or uh, bad people. It was it was it was just like, but the the shtick was that it was set in the COVID-19 pandemic. And I was like, I don't want to, I don't want to hear about that. I'm living that shit, bro. Like, stop. Fuck up off me. Fuck up off me. Camera looks really good today, man. I'm not even trying to... Fl I'm just, like, very happy with how we're already living it. Why do we want... Exactly. That's like releasing, like, zombie-themed movies during the zombie apocalypse. Like, imagine if they came out with, like, fucking World War Z during the middle of a zombie apocalypse. Like, read the room, man. Come on, now. We're three years into this shit. You'd have, you'd have thought they'd have learned after 2020, but nope. No, they saw that COVID check, and they were like, we gotta cash in. Yoink that off. There we go. Oh, my. That is such a good soup. Good shit, man. We could have added a bullion cube, actually, just to kind of offset some of that unhappiness. But uh, honestly, I think we'll be a-okay. There we go. Turn off the barbecue. And we have 17 hours and 50 minutes left. Yep, there we go. Let's go and toss both of these in the fridge. And I was going to say, let's... No, let's eat the burrito. I mostly made this to save the uh, the ingredients that we were about to lose. Let's go ahead and crush some of these burritos. There we go. Good shit, good shit. And let's actually... Let's have another one. Is that going to impact my weight negatively? Let's see. It's fine to experiment like this anyways. That's not a huge problem. And nope. Good shit. Six o'clock now. We're going to read till 9.30, and then I think we'll head to bed after we toss this salmon back in the fridge, because I'm not trying to have that shit go off in my inventory. That'd be gnarly. Imagine, like, what's that smell? And then it turns out to be salmon you left in your pocket. Nah, I'm cool. I'm cool. Drop the propane tank right there. Medical stuff can go in here. Not all of my bandages, though, and not all of my alcohol wipes so something like that there we go soap can go in there too and i think we're good for the most part yeah good stuff man jolly good jolly good thread can go in there as well my dog is barking in the background 6.30? Yeah, she's... Well, no, it's, it's 6.18 currently. 
but she's she's trying to bully my my parents into giving her a little bit of food early because she eats at uh, six thirty. But uh, she thinks if she's yelling at people, she gets to eat early. That's not how it works, Pepper. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you this, but uh, you can't just yell at us and expect us to do everything you say. I think actually we'll go to we'll go to bed around eleven thirty. How far are we into reading this book? Let's see. Let's see if we can finish it tonight. Because if we wake up a little later, sorry about that. Bump the mic. If we wake up a little later than I intended to. Then that's fine. I'm not going to be too mad about that. But, uh, I do want to be able to, uh, I do want to be able to get up at a decent-ish hour after we finish this book. Let's go ahead and work out a little bit. Like, 30 minutes real quick before we go to bed. Currently at moderate exertion. I would have thought, uh, working out would help your depression. Just like it does IRL. At least it does for me. When I'm sad, I'm like, oh, gotta hit the gym. I jinxed it. I was literally thinking, you know, it's nice to be able to go to sleep and not have to worry about panic attacks every five seconds. Well, look at me, Chad. I'm a darn fool. Finna sleep good after that workout? Nah, he said, I'm cool. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wake up and freak out, sit up in my bed screaming. Ah! I've been there, pal. Don't, not the zombie apocalypse part. I, I have not been through that part, but everything else. Yeah, absolutely. Let's go ahead and wash all my clothes because I'm not trying to get sick. And plus, we look better if we're not, you know, filthy. Uh, info protection. <gasps> excuse me, doing fairly decently on protection. Let's go ahead and, excuse me, break down this shelf and take it to the closet. Woke up scared today from a dream. You don't remember why? Yeah. Yeah, that's been there, pal. Though usually I remember them for like the whole day and I'm just like just sitting there like, damn, that was, that was kind of fucked up. Wait a minute. Felt your heartbeat? Yep. That's that real nightmare. Like, yikes. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, Wolf. That, uh, I would not, I would wish that on my worst enemy, but I would not wish that on you because you're not my worst enemy. There's someone else. That's scary. That's scary. I can make you look pretty. I'm just like, okay, yep. Yeah, I've been there, pal. It's not a fun experience having nightmares. W wouldn't recommend it if you can avoid it, if you can help it. Uh, shotgun shells go in here. We're going to go to sleep, and then I think what we'll do is uh, start making some progress on boarding up the windows in the classrooms. I wish there was a mod that lets you rebuild windows. That would be really useful to me. Still having panic attacks, bro? I think we're depressed and nervous because we're we're not smoking cigarettes. Don't worry, man. Just hold out for a little while longer. Extract seeds from... Ooh. Do we have any potato seeds? We might. I'm actually going to prepare two of these for baking. Prepare potato for baking. Toss these in there vegetable omelet for breakfast. I'm pretty sure that was yesterday or the day before we made that. I'll go ahead and polish that off with the PB&J. PB&J would smack in the zombie apocalypse. I love peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, dude. That shit was my childhood. Loved them to death. I still like them, actually, believe it or not. Believe it or not. I know that might be a hard thing to believe, Chad. It's like, oh, Buzz likes peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Yes, he does. And Buzz apparently... Oh, that's annoying. I didn't know that. Okay, so apparently... Apparently this op operates as an actual, like, object with a collision mesh. Meaning I can't walk past it. That's... That's kind of annoying. That... Oh, well. It doesn't work that way for all the posters, does it? Nope. Not just that one. All right. I'd love to put it somewhere where, like, we're not gonna be walking like even here wouldn't be the worst thing in the world 
To tell you the truth, that might actually be better. Because if I don't need to be going in this corner, I can just, you know, immediately hook this corner and walk towards the door. Yeah, that's fine. I like that a lot, actually. Fair enough. Stay indoors or be fine. Shit, say like Exactly, bro. You don't have to tell me. I don't care. Though, to be fair, during the pandemic, like, when it first started, the whole COVID thing, I was like, eh. I was a little skeptical. I was like, it's not going to be that bad, is it? It turned out to be that bad, and uh, I stayed home. I wasn't going out, like, I wasn't going out crazy or doing anything, like, nuts. It was just, like, I was skeptical because I was like, eh, I mean, it's not, it can't be that bad, can it? And it turned out to be, yeah, kind of gnarly. So I was like, all right, uh, mask up, stay inside, social distance, all that good shit, you know? All right, we have four, or uh, we have 12 planks of wood. So we can board up three of these windows. Let's go and put that there. Yeah, we're going to have to clean out all this blood, too, if I don't want to get sick. Uh, remove broken glass. Why can't I? Ah, right. Can I? There we go. Good shit. Only cut it because your dad. I'm sorry. How was it for you guys? Was it uh, was it rough? A little gnarly? Because I, un I understand, like, the uh, COVID is different for everybody. Like, if one person's like, oh, I hardly feel it, and the other person's like, oh, man, I feel like I'm literally dying. Which is really, really weird. But not weird in, like, a well, I mean, weird in a bad way, but weird also, like, interesting, you know? I'm not sure why that is. Maybe it's because of a uh, different immune system strength? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and pick up the broken glass here. Pick up this broken glass as well. Didn't hit you till days later? Yikes. I've, n I've never had COVID, so it's like, you know. It's always interesting to see how it affects other people. Just, you know. I, I honestly, not sure how I haven't caught COVID at this point. I'm not trying to jinx it, but like, I'm, I'm happy I, d I haven't caught it yet, which is which is good. If I keep wearing my masks and shit, hopefully I never catch it. Slept for like two days, then it went away. Stomach was hurting, bad headache and cough. Yikes. I'm glad you're feeling better now, Wolf. Good shit. go go and barricade this one and we're probably no we're definitely gonna tear down all of these desks and stuff and uh replace them with something else there's a corpse here apparently grab corpse oh it's outside got it okay uh ah uh, unless we're carrying around an arm nope it's definitely outside good shit it was a year ago but it still feels like it's affecting you how so i've heard there's a uh, I've heard, what do you call it? Long haul COVID, I think they call it. You get sick way more easily now. Yikes, man. I'm sorry. Make sure to take your daily vitamins. Vitamin C is a great way to beef up your immune system at the start of the day. Go and barricade this last window. And I'm pretty sure I actually said it so that zombies can't break down my construction. So I don't think we'll have to worry about uh, replacing these boards. Which is, uh, maybe it's, I don't think it's cheaty. It's a, it's a function of the game. So I feel like, you know. They wouldn't put it there if it was cheaty, chat, would they? Mm, I don't think so. Got a, some vitamin C powder you got in hot water? Excellent, man. Exceptional. I don't need a propane torch to break down a plastic chair. What do you mean? Don't want to sleep on the floor. That sounds terrible. And let's go ahead and just make sure all of these are empty. Pretty sure we have a box of paper clips somewhere, so I'm probably just going to toss whatever spare paper clips we have away. Probably going to toss all of this away now that I think about it. We need to get more trash cans. I think we have some in the bathrooms, but those don't really hold too much.
We're still getting the benefit from carpentry reading, aren't we? Yes, we are. Good shit, good shit. Let's go ahead and grab helicopters. Good shit. If he doesn't break that with his hand or his hatchet, no. See, see, he's 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 big braining it because if he breaks it with his hatchet, then he's gonna be uh he's gonna be out of hatchet pretty soon because uh, we only got the one axe right now, and I needed to chop down trees to get more wood. You dig? We should be creeping up to carpentry level two any time now. Hopefully soon, because I'm tired of breaking shit and not producing any usable materials. Bro, if you don't present me with some usable materials. Right now. Oh, the one sheet of paper said, no, I can't. I can't break this down. It's got a single solitary sheet of paper. I'm powerless. All right. I think we'll just move all these chairs outside to like an alleyway or something. I don't know. How many planks do we have? Two. Well, one here. And... Yeah, so just two in total. All right. Go ahead and barricade up this window real quick. Do, 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 do. Good shit, man. Do I want to... No, these only hold 26. I don't think we need another bookshelf. And if we do, we can either build one or just carry one from uh, somewhere else. Uh, yeah, I'll dismantle the wall clock. That's fine. Disassemble the shelf. Disassemble this one. Good stuff, man. That's just the amount of planks we needed to... Uh, finish up that window good stuff excellent stuff even all right well good shit guys we've finally reclaimed this classroom now uh what are we going to use it for no clue not a clue probably we could use it for storage or maybe even like a little kitchen actually using it for a kitchen wouldn't be the worst idea in the world i kind of like that idea well mm, i don't know like if we if it gets swarmed or something I mean, we can have a fridge upstairs. I think we'll use this as a kitchen, possibly. I don't, I don't know. We'll see, chat. We'll have to see. How close are we to carpentry? I feel like we're right there. Yeah. This last thing should be able to do it. Office desk. There you go. I'm uh, pretty sure there's... Yeah, I was going to say stuff in here. Disassemble. Wow. And, um, yeah, that increased the amount of uh, planks we get from broken down furniture immensely. At least our chance to get it. Because before it was like literally everything we broke was just getting scrapped. But now it's like, hooray, we're actually competent. We know our way around a hammer. So you're supposed to use the hard flat end, not the handle. This is news to me. I was an amateur chat. I was blind, but now I see. Uh, Twice grace, I am taught my heart to fear. In grace, my fears relieved. The hour I first believed. That's a good song, man. Amazing Grace kind of goes kind of hard. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Big fan of that song. Mostly because uh, it was in Far Cry 5. Like, probably my favorite Far Cry, actually. I think Far Cry 5 is the one I played the most. But additionally, it was just it was just really fun. The story was good. The characters were good. I really enjoyed the, uh, the antagonist, which a lot of people... I, I don't know if they were divided on him, but a lot of people kind of say, man, Zaz was the best antagonist. But I feel like the Seed family was really good. Really good. Especially Joseph. He had that charisma about him that was just... I really enjoy likable villains, you know? It's, it's just cool. See if we can get some more planks. Lots of pens, dude. Too many pens. Too many combs. I, Well, we are in a... What do you call it? Flight school. So I feel like everybody wants to make sure they're looking their best when they're, you know... Up in the air, 
flying around like whoopee i'm like uh i'm like uh tom cruise in the movie top gun blissfully unaware that uh top gun was a navy movie and not the air force i learned that recently i remember working at chick-fil-a and being like yo uh you working in the air force is it like top gun he was like dude top gun was top gun was actually navy i said no way he was like yeah i was like how do you know he was like because i'm in the air force and it's nothing like top gun so i had to wait until someone who got worked in the navy came to my register and I had to ask him I was like so was it like Top Gun son of a bitch had the nerve to tell me oh talk to Air Force about that I was like and now I know that there's just a whole conspiracy against me chat that's what it is they're all laughing at me getting together in their secret military bases talking about all right we're gonna screw with Buzz how then one of them brings forward the idea I have a great way Unfortunately, we can't do that. Barricade up this window. Excellent stuff, man. Excellent stuff. Uh, ah, we only have that. We have a few more things, but unfortunately, it looks like we will have to chop down a tree tomorrow to uh, completely barricade up this house. Which is fine. It's just, you know... That's, that's more, like, hard manual labor that we have to do that I really hoped we could put off at least for now, but eh. It was going to happen eventually, chat. We are going to have to chop down some trees eventually. We really should read the next carpentry book before we do that, though. I'm not super pressed to read the carpentry book to uh, break down these pieces of furniture because, really, I'm doing it for the, I'm doing it for the planks, not necessarily the, uh, the XP. Actually, I was going to turn on the light, but we have a couple of a couple of windows that aren't necessarily the most protected. Meaning, of course, I haven't, you know, protected them yet. So it probably be in my best interest to uh, wait a little while. My nose is itchy as hell today, man. I don't even know why. Just like the corner of my nose right here. It's killing me, man. It's killing me. Tear them down. Go. Lots of scrap wood. That's going to be good for fires, but I don't really think we'll need a... We might get, a, like, a charcoal grill at some point, though. I'm not sure. I don't see the necessity for it at the moment. Right now, I think we're good with what we've got, especially since we have a stove on the way soon. There we go. And no more wooden furniture to break down, unfortunately. Can we break down the... No. I was hoping we could break down the chalkboard, but... Alas, Shadow was not meant to be. I'm thinking that tree's a prime candidate for uh, chopping down. Hacking and whacking and smacking. Hack, whack, chopping that tree. Of course, that song was about excessive masturbation, but, you know. I had to retrofit it to suit my needs. Let's go ahead and toss all this in. Butcher Pete, that song is wild, dude. Do we have any other scrap wood? No, we do not. We got a lot of stuff. We're just going to toss all the scrap wood and stuff down here and uh, throw it out tomorrow. I'm thinking, can I just drop it or no? No. All right, cool. I'll just, I'll just keep that. Can I eat this? No, I can't. I wasn't going to. I was just curious, Chad. I just wanted to see if I could. Not if I should. All right. It is currently 10.50. What do we want to eat? Burrito, bowl of guac. Are we out of are we out of tortilla chips really? Huh. No, we have one right here. Let's see if we can Apparently we can't. Oh well. Oh, because there's not enough guac. Got it. No, that makes sense. That that makes sense. I I understand. And look at that. We actually have our fourth and final bowl. Exceptional. All right, uh, we've eaten, ridiculously tired. Yeah, let's get some sleep. 